Washington State has been a leader in innovation, aviation, and the environment. SeaTac, Boeing, Alaska Airlines, and Washington State University took a leadership role envisioning what would sustainable aviation fuel development look like in the Northwest. And this was a group called SAFIN. Sustainable aviation fuels can be made from a number of renewable resources. That includes forest residuals or agricultural residuals. So those are woody materials, wheat, straws. In addition to that, they could be made from municipal solid waste. One of the benefits of sustainable aviation fuels is, is that it lowers carbon emissions of burning the fuel by a minimum of 50% or up to 80% that of conventional fuel. We just recently completed a large research program for the U.S. Department of Agriculture called NARA, which stands for the Northwest Advanced Renewables Alliance. And that was really focused on the development of alternative jet fuels from forest residuals or slash piles. The supply chain as a whole produces a tremendous number of jobs. And much of that economic benefit impacts rural areas where the feedstock is produced. The state of Washington has been very forward-looking in understanding that they play an important role in the development of sustainable aviation fuels in this region. There's tremendous economic benefit to develop sustainable aviation fuels, but there are many things that need to happen and there's a lot that needs to be put in place. The Port of Seattle and SeaTac has taken a real leadership in this area and they've set a goal that by 2028, every flight from SeaTac will be powered by sustainable aviation fuels.